racers, you had one job. One job, okay? To tell us who in your pack was the new guy. It's this Ramon. This McQueen was in a pack last year. Anyway, guys, welcome back to yet another review. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the Mini Racers 3 pack from the Nighttime and Radiator Spring series. Another oddly specific series based off of the first cars. This 3 pack includes Cruiser McQueen, Flo, and Hydraulic Ramon, but not. Mattel, what did you do? Come on, guys. Not, not, uh, not uh, Ramon raised up. Not that Hydraulic Ramon. Red Ramon. But he was originally released, and to this day is released as Hydraulic Ramon. So, you know what? I'm just calling him Red Ramon, okay? But, in his Mattel release, he is referred to as Hydraulic Ramon. I'm sure that I just confused a large majority of you guys. I confused myself, and so did Mattel, when they named this Red Ramon Hydraulic Ramon. Whatever, let's just get started with the review. Moving on to the back here, you can see collect your favorite cars mini racers. We've got Cruiser McQueen, Flo, and Ramon. Again, first look should be this Ramon. Cruiser McQueen was in a pack last year with um, Ramon and Mater, I believe. Regular Ramon and Mater. Or maybe I'm thinking about this pack. We've got Golden Ramon, Mater, and McQueen. See, check out that smooth tr uh, transition right there. We've got the Piston Cup Rivalry Series with a Cars 1 McQueen. As the first look, the King and Chick Hicks. Very nice pack. Pretty cool to get a Cars 1 McQueen. There's just one problem. Chick Hicks is his um, Cars 3 variant. Um, you easily could have done a pack with two first looks and made a Cars 1 Chick Hicks, but whatever. We've got the Florida 500 Rivalry Series with Golden. Never got why these were in quotes. Cruz, McQueen, and Jackson. And this very nice XRS pack with Tim, Brick, and McQueen. So let's get these three out of the package. I think this is a very good three pack because in so many, it's like, hey, here's another Jackson Storm, here's another McQueen, but here, it's a very nice assortment. You get former first look, Cruisin' McQueen, back again. You get Flo, a character making her three pack debut, I believe, because I got her from the blind bags. And you get a new Ramon, who is the first look, but is not labeled as such. So, very solid three-pack, I think. There's not, like, a dull car in this. So, let's start off with Cruisin' McQueen here. He's just your typical Cruisin' McQueen, but tiny. He's got a expression very similar to that of his diecast, looking all cool and collected and relaxed. Moving on to the side, we've got that lightning bolt. He's got some nice white wall tires. And we've got the little white area there that the lightning bolt is in. Of course, all traces of his number are not here. We've got his gas cap there. Um, seems to be like a paint chip on him, which is interesting. Kind of unfortunate, but that's okay, because I've already got this guy. There is the base. I really need to get back into making uh, custom mini racers, because I'm getting so many duplicates now. And I think I know what to do for Cruz and McQueen, but I can't say it yet. Um, anyway, though, moving on to Flo here. She looks pretty good. Maybe a little off, but very, very nice. Um, I still don't have the regular mini racer of Sally or the mini racer of Fillmore. Really hope to get those guys soon. Um, but I really like all of their Radiator Springs cars, and Flo is definitely no exception. She's actually a fairly large mini racer. She's actually pretty... Uh, big the fins are very wide like they go outwards more so than they do on the regular die cast Just got all your regular flow details. I'm just going through these cars very briefly since I've already uh, reviewed them. I Believe did I review flow in the past? I'm not sure I did but there's not much to say because she's just so we've got her showgirl license plate Unfortunately her bumper is not chrome like it is on her normal die cast. So that's okay. So look at the other side. I always um, liked Flo's color scheme. It's very, very nice. There's the base. She's also wearing white wall tires, by the way. And finally, we have this Ramon. Whereas his normal Mattel diecast uses a different expression. This guy's just got the same face as the rest of the Ramones. He's a very nice metallic red. Although his eyelids um, are a different shade of red. I don't believe they're metallic, which is kind of weird because I... Pulled it off with Cruz and McQueen, but okay. 
Anyway, continuing with the closer look at the rightful first look of the pack. He's got all these pretty cool designs all over him. He's a very complex Ramon. Um, but if my camera will focus, you'll be able to see all these nice details all over him. You've got this very cool ribbon pattern. The lighting is just not cooperating today. We've got this very nice ribbon pattern going across the side. Some nice looking wheels. This little design on the top and on the back. And his license plate, as always, is his classic catchphrase of low and slow. And on the other side, we've got more of that ribbon pattern. And there is the base. Anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching. We'll see you guys next time. If you want some more content from me, make sure to check out my blog. I recently did a post discussing some new details about Cars Adventures Lap 2, so if you're interested in that upcoming series, I definitely suggest checking it out. Link is always in the description. I'll see you guys next time. Bye now.